This is my Rocky Road chocolate pie. I'm Nick and you're watching The Scrand Line where I teach you how to make delicious desserts designed to impress. The secret ingredient is ricotta in the chocolate pie filling. It's so silky smooth and creamy. This thing is so easy to make and it only takes a couple ingredients. So let's get stuck into it. Let's begin with the crust. So I'm gonna be using my food processor today to make the crust because we're gonna to need to crush the Oreos and peanuts together. But if you don't have one of these, you can just do that using a Ziploc bag and a rolling pin. So we're going to add our Oreos into our food processor along with our peanuts. So these peanuts are salted peanuts and they just add a nice saltiness and break up the sweetness of this pie. And we're going to add our melted unsalted butter. Pop your lid on and we're gonna blitz these until we reach fine crumbs. It's gonna resemble kind of like a wet soil. Okay, so our crust mixture is done. It kind of looks like a really muddy, wet soil. We're gonna be popping this into a nine inch tart tin and I'm gonna use the back of a spoon to press it firmly into the bottom and the sides of the tart tin. So as you're kind of flattening it along the sides, you wanna use your thumb to also flatten the top of it so we're getting a nice, even flat height to your tartin as well. It just keeps everything really nice and neat. So I like to usually start with the sides and then pour the rest of the mixture in and do the bottom. I just find it's a lot easier to get those sides nice and flat and then you can work on the bottom. We have it nice and neat looking now. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge to chill and we're gonna move on to making the filling. I think the thing that makes the filling of this pie so special is the ricotta cheese. It just makes it so creamy and delicious and super silky smooth. So to make the filling, we're gonna begin by adding some chopped chocolate into a large microwave safe bowl. We're gonna add this in the microwave and melt it for 30 seconds at a time, stirring each time until it's nice and smooth. Now, if you don't have a microwave, you can just pop this on top of a double boiler and melt it that way. Once your chocolate is melted, and you can see this is nice and silky smooth, we're gonna be adding some melted butter into this, but we wanna add it slowly. So one tablespoon at a time. Each time you add that tablespoon, you wanna stir it in until it's really well combined and then add another tablespoon until you've got it all in there. So we've added all of our butter into our chocolate and at first, as you begin adding it, you're gonna notice that the chocolate thickens and it kind of goes into a ganache consistency. But as you keep adding that butter, it's going to go super, super glossy and it's gonna start thinning out. We're gonna set this aside to cool a little bit at room temperature and we're gonna move on to making the rest of our filling. I have my nice clean food processor because we're gonna be using this to make the rest of the filling. Now we're gonna be popping the ricotta cheese in here first. We're going to blitz this on high speed until it goes super smooth and creamy. It's like magic. Once you've got it super smooth and creamy, we're gonna be adding some salt in there just for some extra flavor. And we are gonna be adding our melted room temperature chocolate. So pop it all in there. Blitz this on high speed until everything is really well combined. You wanna make sure that you also scrape down the food processor bowl at least once, just to make sure everything mixes properly. This thing is absolutely gorgeous and silky. We're gonna be popping this into our chilled tart crust and using a spatula to smooth it all down. Before we put this in the fridge to chill and set, we're gonna be sprinkling some mini marshmallows on top and some chopped peanuts. We're gonna pop this in the fridge for two hours to set and then we're gonna come back and finish this off. 
Our pie is almost done setting in the fridge and the last thing we want to do before we take it out is whip up some cream. So I'm going to be pouring some chilled cream into a large mixing bowl and to that I'm going to add a little bit of powdered sugar just for some extra sweetness and some vanilla extract. I'm going to use my electric hand mixer to whip this up to stiff peaks. Start on low speed, bring it up to medium once you can see it thickening and then bring it up all the way to high speed when it's almost done. Our pie has been chilling in the fridge for two hours. It's ready to add the final decoration. So our whipped cream that we just whipped up, we're gonna pop all of that on top. Pile it high. You don't wanna spread it right out to the edges cause you just want a little bit of those marshmallows showing and some of those nuts as well. I'm gonna finish this off with some more mini marshmallows because why not? And some more crushed peanuts. Now because we're being extra, I'm going to be shaving some chocolate on top as well. This thing looks absolutely delicious. You've got that chocolate Oreo crust with some salty peanuts in there, that silky smooth chocolate ricotta filling, marshmallows, cream, chocolate shavings. I'm gonna give it a go. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. This is so yum, guys. I would love for you to try it. The link to the recipe is in the description box below. Go and try it out. And if you do, make sure you tag me on social media so I can see your lovely creations. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scrambline. Bye.